Hello my chickens, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a full face of makeup using only one brush. So the brush that I've chose today is this one right here. It's quite, quite small, so I feel like we can do the eyeshadow still, but I can still like do the face and it's gonna look okay. Well, I'm hoping it's gonna look okay, so I guess let's just jump straight into it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys and <laughs> let's do this. I'm just like shaking my head in disappointment. Like why am I doing this? So many of you guys have recommended me to do this. So this is for you. <laughs> I guess we're gonna start with the eyeshadow today. So then if I bring the eyeshadow down too far, at least then I can clean it up on the edges right here. So I'm taking a concealer. I'm just gonna take a really light concealer and I guess just paint it on my brush because this is technically a brush. Oh god, I didn't actually think about how hard this is going to be. <laughs> In we go. I honestly, like, don't think I'll be able to do my brows. Like, I think they're just off limits for today because, like, how is that possible? I guess I'll just, like, try and carve, like, a line underneath my brows so they look a little bit neater. That's like the best we're gonna be able to do. <laughs> okay, amazing. So now I'm gonna go in with some powder and just set that eye base down. I do have a brush cleaner right here so I can kind of like clean my brush in between uses because after I do my eyeshadow, we're gonna move on to the face and that's not gonna be pretty if I don't clean my brush. Now it's time for the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take this really pigmented palette. Maybe that'll make it easier. This one's from Dose of Colors, it's so pretty. I don't even know if I've used it on my channel before. I don't think I have. So. The first color that I'm going to take is this color right here, and I guess we can try and make this the transition color. So I'm just gonna dab it in. Oh my god, that is literally so pigmented. And I'm just gonna like put this like all over my lid and keep it as low as I can. Oh my gosh. Not a problem. I mean, like, it'd be easier doing your eyeshadow with your fingers, let's be real. Oh gosh. Oh. She's clean. Okay, so with like the edge of the oh gosh, with the edge of the brush, I'm just gonna like. <gasps> Did this really just happen? That better have just happened. If that saggy thing was hanging down for the past ten minutes, I'm not gonna be happy. Anyways, taking the corner of this brush, I'm just going to blend out the edges as much as I can. Oh god, I don't think I have a good feeling about this. Okay, it's like not blending. Oops. I feel like most of it has like low key, like just faded away. But the next color I'm going to take is this one right here. And I'm going to try my best to keep it as low as possible. Just using the edge of the brush. I mean, I said that last time and it went up so high. So I'm kind of nervous. We got this, honey. I'm just going to take that original color and kind of like lightly blend around the edges. Oh, girl. I mean, it's not looking as bad as I thought. I think this is the best we're gonna be able to get it. Otherwise, it's just gonna go up too high. Next step is to take, I mean, this is toilet paper with like makeup remover wipe, but you can use makeup remover wipes if you'd prefer. I'm gonna clean up the edges. This is going to save my life. Now it is time for the face. So let's move on to primer. This one's gonna be so easy. Are you kidding me? I have this one in the bag. Just gonna take a bit longer than normal. <laughs> You can never forget primer, even if you're doing a challenge video. Am I right? It is foundation time. So I'm taking my Wet n Wild foundation. I'm absolutely obsessed with this one. So it has a little spatula. Oh, okay, I can't use a spatula. Wait, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna work in little areas at a time. Oh, well, if you put as much as me on, it's gonna blend out easily. Here's a size comparison of the brush that I normally use and this one. <laughs> See you guys in 20 years, literally. I feel like I'm kind of taking this challenge to the next level because obviously you can use like, say a spatula, like with a foundation or you can use your fingers because technically the only rule is one brush. Doesn't mean no fingers, but I just thought it'd be fun to like literally just use one brush instead of anything else. I love how yellow I look all the time. It's like my favorite thing in the world. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a bit of my concealer on the back of this brush. Do my thing, girl. My bag is so big right now I need more the concealer under there oh my god this is taking so long to blend out no wonder why I use beauty blenders every day of my life oh what I'll do right now to blend out my foundation with a beauty blender 
<laughs> okay, I'm low-key so impressed right now. So let's move on to setting this base down before it creases away. I'm taking a translucent powder and I'm just gonna pat this right on underneath my eyes. I always use um, a beauty blender for this step. This feels so wrong. I guess I'm just gonna pat it instead of like swiping in case it's like gone anywhere. And you know what's next, and that is setting my whole face with powder. Oh my god, this is gonna take like a million years, I'm not even kidding. I'm just gonna set um, the areas where I'm gonna put product over the top. So my cheekbones, my laugh lines, oh my god, because they just crease instantly. I think I'm gonna finish off my eyes first, just so it doesn't look like I've been punched in the face. So I'm gonna take, um, uh, I guess I'm gonna take the dark brown and just Put it on my lower lash line just for the corner again i'm so concerned about this step oh my god that was stressful but it looks amazing technically a mascara wand is a brush right so i'm just going to go in with some falsies instead so i'll be right back the lashes are on so i feel like it's looking a bit better although it does look really weird with no mascara especially on my lower lashes because they're like white from the powder that i put on over the top but let's move on to the bronzer, I'm gonna take this massive one from Marc Jacobs. I love this one. I feel like this is gonna be so weird. So weird applying it with such a small brush. It's gonna be really hard, I think. Mm. I guess as long as I keep like a really light hand, it'll be fine. Oh yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad, shiny. Just don't go crazy like you always do with the bronzer. Okay, this is just like rubbing my foundation off because the brush is so dense. Oh well. That's I got to blend that part. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the blush. This one is so pigmented, so I'm just gonna tap off as much as I can. Oh my gosh, okay. Ooh. <gasps> not a fucking problem. No, that is a problem. Oh my god, now it's not blending out because I didn't set my face properly. SOS, SOS. <laughs> oh my god, I just did the exact same thing on the other side. Classic. And then for my highlighter, I'm using one of my favorites. This one's from MAC. It's in the shade Beaming Blush. And when I was traveling, it like disconnected itself from the pan. So I'm really scared it's going to fall out. I need to be so careful. All right. This is going to be fun. <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. <gasps> Can you not? I'm just going to lick it. There we go. Stay up there. Okay, so liquid lipstick. I'm taking this one from Huda Beauty. It's a darker nude, so you can still like see where I fuck up, but like it's not gonna be like a red because stuff that. All right, let's put this on the edge of the brush again. This is gonna be the hardest part, I know it. Oh my God, it's actually not that hard. <laughs> Honestly, this whole no eyebrow thing is just not working for me. I'm gonna take a little bit of brow powder and Oh, just try and darken them up a tiny bit because they're so ashy. Oh God, it's getting everywhere, SOS, help. This is probably a bad idea, isn't it? I'm gonna ruin the whole thing. Even though I'm obviously not gonna wear this makeup out, I may as well set it, so let's go in. It smells like vodka, like my 13 year old cheap vodka days. Okay guys, I think we officially have the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed it. I mean, it's not as bad as what I thought. I could probably get away with wearing this in public. I mean, it kind of just looks like an eight-year-old that did my makeup like my little sister or something, but it's not the end of the world. I don't hate it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up because that helps me out so, so much. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.